Good evening and welcome to the sixth and penultimate day of a week on Gusto. And yesterday, if you haven't watched it, yesterday was a brilliant day. It was the sweet potato and red lentil curry, absolutely delicious, thought I was going to hate it, ended up loving it, very, very happy. So far, we are five meals down, four are delicious, one was shite. So that's a 80% 80 win rate. See, I've got an audience here who is enjoying my content. It's, oh, it's funny because it's true. It's funny because it's true. So yes, we have another meal here. It is dinner time, so shall we crack on and cook it? Yes. Yes! Here we go. Here are the ingredients. We have soy sauce, roasted garlic paste, mushrooms, creme fleche, uh, Italian cheese, what's this? Dijon. Dijon mustard, basil, oh god, don't tell him, uh, and potato gnocchi. And spinach. And a big giant bag of spinach. So I wonder what we're possibly making with gnocchi and spinach and mushrooms. That's right, we're making cheeseburgers. <gasps> no, we're not. If I can grab the bloody thing, we're making creamy garlic mushroom gnocchi. Looks pretty nice. Does look good. I'm hoping this is going to be reminiscent of that carbonara -y pasta we had a couple of days ago, which was delicious. Yeah. But has now been surpassed uh, by yesterday's curry. I would say so, yeah. So, um, yeah, not going to take too long this one. 10 to 20 minutes. And we have, if it wants to focus, 439 calories. Cool. Let's start. Step one, boil the kettle. Check. Uh, step one point whatever. Uh, heat a pan with olive oil and tear your chestnut mushrooms into rough bite-sized pieces. So you have more mushroom tearing to do. Yes. This is weird. I don't, I've literally never torn a mushroom in my life. And now... Twice in a week. It's twice in a week. You've been quite slow. Well, the, feel you, free to chip in. YouTube audiences need speed. Like, this is what TikTok has done to the youth. The youth. I am a part of that youth, <laughs> by the way. You are so far from the youth, it's unreal. I am youth Less. personified. Youthless. Whoops. Oh, and that's why we do it slowly. Zip it slowly. Right, kettle. Boiled. Ah, oh, the timing. Next up, pan of mushrooms on. Garlic paste. It's weird how some recipes are like, here's garlic paste, and other ones are like, here's a garlic clove. So, consistency. That stinks. Mm, it's lovely. Water. Mushrooms are smelling delicious. Next up, we add the gnocchi to the boiled water over a high heat for three minutes. So there we go. In you go, one-handed. Or, if they don't take three minutes, it's basically, according to the instructions at least, when they start to float. We all love a floater. Once the mushrooms have started to caramelize, they are well and truly caramelized. Add the spinach. Good. Try not to put the plastic packaging in the process. And also, uh, where is it? The soy sauce goes in there as well. Give it a salty oh, kick. No. Oh. no, get it out, it's gross. Three minutes later. Knocky. And also we have reserved some of the pasta water, I assume for the same reason as we did earlier in the week, uh, to thin down the sauce if necessary. But there we go, some cooked gnocchi. The spinach is wilting, so now in goes the mustard. Splooch. And also the cream fruge, which I can't get out. It's too thick. I'm trying to do it one-handed. Thank you. You're much more skilled than I. Add the drained gnocchi and half your Italian cheese. Oh, you've missed one. Ah, it's hot. It's Ouch. cooked. 
Hopefully right. And then half. Half the cheese. Don't you scrimp on that cheese. Mm -hmm. um, do we need some pasta water? Um, if required. It's looking a bit thick, isn't it? It is. Let me add it. Say when. Just... Yeah, that'll do for now. Let me see how we get on. It is ready. Oh, look at that. Nice and saucy. Much saucier than the other pasta. We've added a, a bit more of the pasta water just to make sure there are no sauceless complaints from us this time. So, of course, we do have the remaining half of Italian cheese. Cheese up that bad boy. Doesn't look like a very big portion, does it? It doesn't, no. We have had larger portions. And then we tear on some basil. Where are you going with that one? Are you mixing it up? It's stuck. I mean, it smells amazing. Mm. Right, I'm very look, much looking forward to this. Mm. It smells very basil now. <laughs> mm. Oh, very cheesy, very creamy. That, um, what is it? The um, spinach has gone to absolutely nothing. So kind of brings nothing to the table. Could have probably done with maybe another Half a bag's worth. You're getting your iron allowance for the day. But yeah, that's true. And then I'll have a Guinness and I'll be sorted. Um, the gnocchi is incredibly soft. I wonder if we maybe kept it in there a little too long. I'm going to try it. Mm. But it is nice. Cool. Yeah. Mm. So the sauce is delicious. Lovely and creamy. Salty, cheesy. The mushrooms are kind of not bringing anything either. Hmm. Is it just that it's a bit overpowered, maybe, with the other cheese yeah, and cream? Maybe. But it's lovely. It's not as nice as yesterday's, I would say. But I'm very happy with it. Oh, right then, there we go. That was day six, the penultimate day of a week on Gusto. And what can I say? Really, really enjoyed it. It was slightly overcooked. It was a bit squishy and soft and slimy. But that's on us, that's not Gusto's fault, that's us just letting the timings get away from us a little bit. But where does it rank? I think it's third? It's the third nicest thing of the week, I would say. So yesterday's was easily the nicest, the sweet potato and red lentil curry, delicious. And then I reckon it was the carbonari bacon and mushroom pasta thing. Again, that was lovely. But then this one wasn't too far behind that. Uh, and it was way ahead of those tacos. They were rubbish. Um, but yeah, I've got um, no real complaints about today's. Yes, there's probably a couple of things I would add if I was really being hypercritical. But that's me just thinking I know it all. And I really don't. Um, but yeah, one more day to go. A few days ago... If you'd have told me that there's only one day left, I'd have been like, oh, good. But as it is now, I am a little sad that this is coming to an end. Um, and hopefully going to end on a high. I do have the most cal calorific, delicious looking plate of food to come tomorrow. We may have already dropped a hint about what that's going to be, so... We will see how that turns out. If you want to find out what that is right now, please do consider supporting the show on Patreon uh, or becoming a member here on YouTube and you'll have access to the entire week on as it is now. It's all done, all, all done and dust and it's there. Um, or if you want to subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, share it and all that good stuff, you'll see it as and when it lands. Um, yeah, it's going quite well. At one point, I was really worried, but... I'm a Gusto fan. And if you would like your own Gusto, use this discount code here. You'll get 65% off your first box. And as we found out, it's worth a go, isn't it? So thank you very much for watching. And I hope you will tune in to tomorrow's video, the last of the week. And I'm crossing my fingers that it's going to be a strong finish. 
And if it's as bad as that bloody day too, I'm going to be fuming. Why am I still crossing my fingers?